when it gets the right consistency, it'll start to kind of clump up like that. See how it's kind of clumping up on my on my stick? That's what you want. You, you want to be able to stir it, but then as you start to stir it, it'll start to kind of clump up together. It needs just a little bit more. Maybe a little more. At this point, it should be pretty soupy. It should be pretty soupy, but it should just start to clump up. See how it, it all went in as little bitty pieces? I crumpled them up before it went in and see how it's clumping up and sticking together on itself. See that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that's that's what you want. You don't really worry about little sticks and any of the junk that gets in it. It's not important. It's all going to get burnt out in the end of the process. So it's clumping up like that. At this point, you start adding some dry wood shavings. Okay? We start mixing those in there. And when we start doing that, it's really going to clump up. These wood shavings are going to absorb all that excess water right away. It's going to start to clump up. It's going to you're going to keep adding saw shavings. It's going to seem like you're adding just a ton of sawdust, but that's what you want. Kind of like mixing cookie dough. Isn't it? Yes. It's like making a oh, classic, no cookies, classic mud pie. Yeah, just like oatmeal cookies. And when it's still, when it's just kind of damp enough to stick to itself, but the clumps are really starting to break apart, that's when you're ready to put it in a mold. It's getting pretty close. still wet, but it's not, there's not extra water on the ground. Is that about oatmeal cookie yeah. consistency? Mm -hmm. just like it. And that's about what you want. Okay. This next part will be a little bit more difficult. saying there before it's really not all that critical what you want to do is just kind of make sure that you get it kind of mushed in so that it fills the mold completely I've got to make a little bit of a divot in it here so I can get my forms my inserts into the mold Dirty job. Good job for kids. It would be. <clears throat> mm -hmm. They get off their lazy butts and get outside. <laughs> so this cardboard stuff is going to stay in the mold, and when we fire it, it's all going to get burnt up. There won't be anything left of it. We're done. Make sure we don't clog anything up when we put it together. You know what we're making? A brick. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know what it's going to do? It's for 
firing knives. Yep, yep. It's going to be a kiln for heat treating. Let me make sure that we get stuff. Make sure that that gets kind of under the tube a little bit. to it so Looks like we need one more small batch to finish it up with. You can stop. Okay. Okay, so we mixed up another batch. We got our mold full and we just kind of mound it over on the top of it to give us a little bit of extra insulation up top. So what's going to happen is we'll let this dry out for a day or two when it looks like it's pretty well solidified, we'll carefully take the mold apart. You don't really have to take the mold apart because it's made out of wood and you could put it in the fire and the whole thing would burn up and go away. Um, so we may, if, if you think you're going to make more than one, you can take it off, but if you're not going to reuse it, if you're done after this, you can just let it burn up and then you don't risk having it crack when you pull the mold apart. But let it dry for a couple days and then carefully you take the mold off then you take the whole piece will be dried out and you let it dry out out of the sun you don't want to dry it too quickly let it dry out for another couple two three days when it's completely dried out it's still going to be pretty soft we're going to fire it and that'll be another video but we'll dig a pit build a fire carefully put it in the pit cover it with coals and let it burn through the night and then this clay will turn to more or less a ceramic and all these little wood chips, some of them will get burned up, some of them will stay in there, but it'll add some porosity and some insulation to the mix to help hold the heat in, which is what we want. Okay, just need to check something here. It's not our AC, is it? Yep. Make sure that this hasn't collapsed on us. Yep, I can see all the way through, so. Let's see, yeah, let's get this to there. Keep this. Keep that stick right there like that. Just to keep it open for a little while until it solidifies. We want a space so we can put the blade in and get the heat. The torch will go in from the side here and the whole brick here will hold the heat in. So we get our blade in there where the heat is and get it all nice and uniformly heated. Okay, just let it dry out now. Are you
Catch it on fire? Yeah. So you can catch it on fire? Well, we're putting it into a fire. So, no, it's not really to catch it on fire. Mm, I don't know. Well, when we put it into the fire, it's going to be really hot in the fire right away. So, if you put something like this, it's kind of damp into a hot fire. If it gets hot too quickly, that would be bad. So you're kind of tempering it, sort of, in a way. So the, the paper, the paper will protect it from the heat initially, but then as the paper burns away, then it'll get hotter and hotter. So it'll slow the slow heat up. Heat. Yeah. The other thing it'll do is we have to set it down in the coals and then we have to pack coals around it. The paper will kind of protect it so that as we're putting coals on it and stuff, if this thing was just sitting there and we were dropping coals on it and one were to land on it, it might break it in half mm -hmm. because it's not fired yet, it's not hard. Mm -hmm. So this the paper kind of helps protect it while we're loading the coals on it. Oh, okay. So we'll load the coals on it and it'll heat up slow. The paper will burn away and then all the coals will fall in on it, and then it'll get even hotter over, you know, for the, the next several hours while it's in there. And then once, you know, once everything's steady and the coals just kind of sink in on top of it, we're not shuffling anything around, so there's nothing to get damaged. Okay. And then by that time, the moisture, a lot of moisture is going Yep, got it. I'm going to lower this down into the coals. Whoa. See all these coals and shovel? Mm-hmm. Basically, the whole thing is back to cold. <coughs> Okay, here it is, pulled out of the fire. I didn't get, unfortunately, I didn't get video of it coming out of the fire, but this is why we made it. Um, making a, uh, a custom knife, and this is not ready to heat treat. You can see it doesn't have the, the bevel filed into it yet, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to put the knife in here, get it uh, heated up, get it to the right temperature, and then dunk it in the oil and quench it. So, I'll show you how this works. Got our map gas torch. Fire that up. One second there, I'm going to unlock it. There we go. Fire it up. Lock it in. It just sits right in there like that. And so if I can show you, see that uh, that heat kind of blows front and backward in the hole. Like that. <clears throat> That's how it works. see I can touch the outside of it even where the torch was blowing that's how good that clay sawdust mix will insulate
All right, one more thing to show you here. I hope this picks up the audio, but if you can hear that kind of higher pitched tinge. Kind of tells you how well it's fired. It's got that ceramic sound to it. You can take a still picture if you want. You're taking video right yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. Just in case something goes wrong. This could be the last time it looks good. Alright. You got the camera rolling? Yeah. <clears throat> it's recording? Yes. Alright, here goes nothing. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm way back here. Grab that other set of pliers. Where are Next. they? 